Okay, here's a brief tutorial on how to make a set of stairs. Uh, and there are uh, two basic methods that uh, I tend to employ. I'm sure there are many others. Uh, but the simplest one is to actually just draw it uh, kind of from scratch. I guess that's the right way to say that. Uh, and the big thing is you need to know how big your uh, tread needs to be. And obviously that means you need to know about building codes. Um, the biggest, uh, the most typical thing is a non-residential uh, tread. Probably the minimum width is going to be 3 feet, and probably the minimum depth is going to be about 11 inches. Uh, non-residential stair is going to be uh, about 44 inches. Um, so I can type in 44, comma, 11, and get a, the, the basically the plan shape of my um, stair tread. Now I can use push-pull to push pull it up. Again, you need to know the uh, maximum riser height. Uh, typically it's seven inches for non-residential. So I'm gonna do seven inches. And that is a beautiful stair, tread, and riser combination. Now uh, I'm gonna create, uh, I'm gonna select this uh, stair and tread and riser combination, turn it into a component, just by right clicking, choose make a component, and call it stair, tread, and riser. Of course, you can call it anything you want. Uh, and now the trick is uh, you want to use the SketchUp's built-in array command um, to uh, copy the stair up and, and uh, create your run. Obviously, one other thing you have to calculate is what is the um, actual riser height supposed to be based on um, the total run of the stairs. But for now, let's just make a 7-inch rise, 11-inch run. Uh, anyway, activate the move command, tap the alt key or control on a PC. The trick is grabbing the stair by its front bottom edge and making that copy up to the top rear edge. And you see how that will uh, preserve the stair geometry that we're looking for. And now uh, I can just type in X and the number of stairs that I want, say, uh, I don't know, 14. And there you go, a beautiful stair um, that is the correct dimension, okay? Now, you might say that is not very structurally sound. You don't see a lot of uh, point connections like that uh, in a stair. You can come in and edit one of the stairs and uh, maybe just grab the back line and move it to the kind of uh, opposite side there so that you can create... Um, the uh, sloped underside and of course this gives it some thickness to the stringer and this is of course also uh, just depending on the design of the stair this is really just getting you the dimensional um, limits that you want for example maybe you want um, a little bit of a nosing you could just move the front of this thing out a little bit and of course there are code regulations for that too half an inch is the most probably a rounded edge if you do want the rounded edge which which looks very very nice. Uh, you can come in and uh, try to draw that. Just push pull this guy off to the back side. And you can even create some depth to the nosing. Finally, um, if you want it to have a smoother look, you can come in and hide the edges of this thing. And uh, that will make the stair look a little bit um, smoother. Sort of more monolithic, I believe is the right word. And we'll just come in and hide all that. And there you go. You have an instant stair. The nice part about this is that it is um, uh, all made up of components. So you can come in and edit these things. You could even come in and let's say you wanted a landing. You could use the rotate command to spin around. Make sure you get the orientation correct. Say like that. And then you could uh, create a landing even using this um, uh, bottom stair tread combination. You can make it unique and then come in and push pull it. Oh, except I have a nosing on there. Anyway, that's the basic idea. Um, obviously, there are many, many variations on um, a stair that you can make. And all of that is going to depend on your design aesthetic and all that other stuff. So anyway, that's a basic stair. I'd have to clean all that up. 
Um, if you are uh, not really doing anything super wild and unusual in your stair, you might want to consider using um, a special uh, extension that allows you to draw all sorts of complicated elements. Um, these extensions are available in the extension warehouse. Um, I've hidden a lot of my buttons up here on the top of my screen, so I just have a couple. Um, the extension warehouse looks kind of like a uh, clam strip box um, for those of you from New England. Uh, anyway, the, the tool that I particularly like is called 1001 Bit Tools. It is uh, perennially um, one of the uh, top downloads for interior designers um, and uh, architecture also. Um, and it's a great tool. It's free, which is, of course, wonderful. Um, whoever wrote this, they uh, deserve a medal. It has a lot of really great tools. You can see here there's a big toolbar. Um, you would want to turn that on in your um, uh, computer. Just log into Google and download the extension. He, by the way, um, you can just right click on an empty area of your screen to get all your tool palettes on a Mac. Sadly, all you can do is customize the toolbar. Also on a PC, um, this in very, very long toolbar uh, can also be broken apart into smaller bits and pieces. Uh, Mac, sadly, you're stuck with um, just a very long toolbar. Anyway, um, there are a number of tools that this can do. Uh, you, this uh, toolbar has a lot for solid modeling, trimming up lines, creating uh, circular and um, linear arrays. But the ones uh, that I'm interested in here are the stair tool. And uh, you can kind of get a sense from the little preview here what it is going to do. I'll click on the kind of uh, dogleg staircase here. Um, it kind of goes up a landing and back. Um, and you can specify all the dimensions um, that your heart desires. Then just click the build staircase button down here on the lower left. You'll be prompted with a little um, pick a spot cursor. Click once to kind of plant the stairs. Click again to define the rotational direction. And like magic, SketchUp will create your stair, or really 1001 bit tools. And this is a component that you can come in here and edit and make uh, changes to. You can even use um, Follow Me or some of the other tools to create uh, a handrail with different profiles. Um, this also has a uh, spiral staircase. Again, you can specify dimensions and all that kind of good stuff. Click to place the stair, and the uh, software will need a second usually to create the stair based on your dimensions. Again, um, you are going to want to make sure that whatever you create is uh, both constructible and meets the building code. This is uh, clearly uh, does not have any balusters on it, so might not be so sporty when the code official reviews it. Same with the other stair. There are no handrail returns or anything like that. So obviously this is a great design tool. Um, as you move forward though, you would want to um, make it code compliant. Anyway, uh, and that is how you make a set of stairs in SketchUp.